The city has a hoops history that offers uh, compelling evidence for why Chicago is the mecca of basketball. And the Chicago Bulls dominance in the 90s helped launch the NBA into a global sport. At six feet, 10 inches no, tall. No, 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 at six feet, 10 inches tall. You got to do it, Amy. Right, I'm, I'm sorry. Horse Grant is Horse here. Grant. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. When you hear that music, like, how do you feel? Because we get excited. But still. Is it like, oh, I'm going to work and stuff? No, like, I get does... chills. Yeah. I mean, you reminisce and you think about uh, the championships, uh, the fans, just the city itself. Yeah, look yeah. at you. Ooh, <laughs> I love You goggles. still got those glasses? Yeah. I still have them. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Since we're talking about the glass, just really quickly, I know you were like an inspiration. I wore glasses as a kid, and it was not cool to wear the goggles, but my parents would be like, Horace Grant is wearing those goggles. <laughs> And you got LASIK at one point, but still wore them, right? Yeah, because um, I, I still wore the goggles because a lot of parents and grandparents came up to me and said that kids don't get bullied in school anymore yeah. in terms of wearing glasses or even wearing the, the red spec playing um, hoops. Mm -hmm. My nine-year-old plays basketball, and I showed him your picture because he doesn't want to wear his glasses on the court. And I'm oh, like, dude, come on, this you know, guy can do it. Yeah, <laughs> or you can need do this it. eyesight while you're on the court. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, it really protects your eyes yeah. also because you know back in the day you were able to punch someone. I mean, <laughs> stick someone in the eye. So. This is a busy weekend coming up for you. Where are you going to be? Wow. The question is, where aren't what, you going to be? Aren't, <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're doing a lot of community service. Are you doing your fun parties at night, too? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This is Chicago. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I'm going to be at the, the uh, Children's Hospital, uh, nice. Lori, um, with uh, um, a few other guys. Mm -hmm. uh, um, gosh, Navy Pier. So cool. Uh, the crossover. Um, tonight we have a, a dinner, um, a conversation uh, about about diversity. So it's gonna be I'm gonna be all over. Yeah. yeah. I, I gotta ask just because we were just <coughs> talking about it. You played with Kobe Bryant your last season in the NBA. Yeah. Um, are you gonna be at Staples Center on the 24th? Talk a little bit about your memories of Kobe too. Wow. Um, I played with uh, the Lakers, Kobe. Uh, 2001, we won the championship. Yeah. And 2004, uh, we made it to the finals, and you know. Detroit Pistons beat us that year, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I still get choked up because it's still so uh, surreal mm -hmm. in terms of um, um, Kobe's not not being here. But my funnest moments is seeing him dominate on the court, man. I mean, I'm, I have to like second guess myself. Is that Michael Jordan? Yeah, right. right? Mm -hmm. Because he was so fierce and off the court. Such a gentleman, man. I mean, people, you know, myself and the other guys went out, you know, yeah. we party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kobe, he stayed just stood, he stayed away, man. So, um, it's just some great, great memories. You're probably one of the few players that played with both Michael and Kobe to yeah. see those similarities uh, firsthand. I mean, people ask me to compare, and I say, Michael had six championships and Kobe had five. Yeah. That's the only difference yeah. because mm -hmm. they worked their bus uh, on the uh, off on the court as well as off. Now, but wait a second. Didn't Michael talk a lot of smack on the court? I yeah. don't see that coming from <laughs> what was Michael Kobe. Like? <laughs> MJ, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. If <clears throat> if MJ is not having a good game, and say the opponent was really giving it to him, the opponent had the nerve to talk some trash to MJ, mm -hmm. and you just woke him up. And you don't n never wake don't up. Don't poke the sleeping bear. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Kobe was the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, he would come out and just just let you have it. Man. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Off the court though, good. You you keep up with a lot of the guys from the early '90s? Too much. <laughs> <laughs> that Too much. No. They, I mean, uh, BJ, Scotty, uh, MJ, time to time. Uh, but well, Scotty, I mean, we we talk. Every week, probably three or four times every really? week. Really? Yeah. So it sounds like it's going to be a reunion this weekend. Can we come? Before we go, can we get a close-up of his championship I ring? Mean, the one on. particularly oh, with the bull on there. If you mm -hmm. just hold it still, the camera will okay. move for you. Just oh, hold it still. Yeah. I mean, we forgot what those look yeah. like here. Look at the whole red bull on there and everything. Right. So yeah. beautiful. Wow. It's a nice ruby. Yeah. yeah a nice ruby. Oh, I imagine ruby. coming back to Chicago, I mean, people, that team, the first three especially. Yes. I mean, that means something yeah. to Chicago still 30, so almost 30 years later. I mean, that is, you're still an icon in this city. Are yeah. you recognized everywhere you go? Pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. People's like, God, Horace Grant. 
Where's the goggles? Right. <laughs> Man, I, I would be a billionaire if I got money for every time I right. heard. Uh, I always yeah. played you at NBA Jam, too, by the way. My <laughs> buddy, exactly. My buddies were always MJ. Yeah. I like to be, or Pippin. I always like to be, uh, be you. Oh, thank you for being yeah. here. Yeah, this such was a exciting. Pleasure having you. Thank you guys for having me, and uh, let's get ready to have some fun. NBA yes. All-Star Weekend. Such yes. a big thing for our city. Yes, yeah. absolutely. All right. All right, how about I give you the weather forecast for the weekend? How does that Oh, first of all, first to keep up with all the good work that the NBA is doing, head to uh, cares.mba.com and follow a Horse on uh, social media, too.